तो हेलो हेलो हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो अगेन दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू प्रॉब्लम नंबर थ्री एंड फोर हैव ऑलरेडी बीन लाइव ऑफ कॉन्टेस्ट इट से इज दैट मार्क एलिमेंट्स ऑन आर ए बाई परफॉर्मिंग क्वेरीज इट सिंपली सेज दैट यू आर गिवेन अ जीरो इंडेक्सड इंटीजियर आर ए कॉल एस नम्स कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ ओनली पॉजिटिव इंटीजियर्स दैट माइट और माइट नॉट यूज वी कैन लुक इट लेटर ऑन You are also given a 2D array queries of size m, where each query is saying that the query will have an index and a value k i. What what we what we mean by that is that initially all the elements of the array are unmarked. Now, okay, um, now they are saying that again. Initially, all the elements of the array, array as elements as in nums elements. So nums elements are initially all of them is unmarked. Now to now. We will have to give a marking system that okay, this element is marked or not. This element is marked or not. So one very basic thing in these kind of questions when we are we have to mark an element again. We will mark it on the basis of some condition here down below. But if we have to mark some element, then what we can do one thing is that all elements are positive. So maybe we can mark it by saying okay, if something is marked, we can just feel we we, we like we can just put it minus one zero or any value which is not yet here. But if the and again, if the integer is let's say it can be negative zero or positive, then they will for sure give you a limit. Then we can just mark it by saying okay, one in nine or any other number which existingly is not inside the nums array. We can mark this nums array element by that value which is not in all, which is not in the range of all the elements of the array. Okay, now we have learned how we will go on marking again, marking this, these kind of questions. The benefit of this approach is that you will not use an extra space of visited or marked array as it is. Okay, um, we will apply. We have to need to apply these m queries on the array in the order itself, which means this query index query of zero will be applied first, then query of one, then query of two, and so on and so forth. Now, in the ith query, we do the following: that mark the element at the index index of i if it is already not marked. So that's the first operation. Second operation is that mark the all k i number of unmarked elements. Mark all the next k i number again. What are in what they mean by next k i number? That it says with the smallest value. I need to mark the next smallest k i values and have to mark them if they are not unmarked. If they are not marked yet, which means if they are unmarked, and we have to ultimately return. The answer of size m, where answer phi is the sum of unmarked elements in that ith query. We have seen so far what the problem is trying to say. Let's see what he actually means by that. Now, firstly, uh, we saw one thing that we have to mark the elements on the basis of its value. So, smaller element will be marked first. Which means, which means, and again, if there are two elements having the same small value, then I will order on the basis of its index. So you can simply see that this nums which you have input for us, you can simply sort this entire nums down on the basis of its value, and then the next thing will be its index, and then sort this down so that you know, okay, from left I have to start marking these elements because I have to mark the elements in the Increasing order of their values, so I will just place okay for one the value is zero again. I have put the value first and then the index because the first sorting needs to be done by value, and then if the value is same, then the sorting will be done by index. That's the reason I have put in it. It has index comma sorry value comma index value comma index. Now okay for one it will be one comma zero for two comma one two comma two again three comma one four comma sorry it is one comma three. One comma three, two comma four, two comma two, two comma yeah, two comma four, three comma five, and one comma six. Now sort this down. If I sort this down, it will become a again one comma zero. This is gone. Again, I'm just writing you how to sort it. One comma zero. Then I have a one comma three. Then I will have a one comma six. Okay, done. Everything is done. Now two comma one, two comma two, and two comma four, and then ultimately three comma five. Now things are sorted. Now I have to just start applying the queries. I have these queries, so my answer will also be looking like I have to fill in three elements. In the first query, as we saw, first thing which we have to do is that go on to this index and mark it. 
again as we saw that we have only positive integers so as to determine what things we are marking we can just simply replace that element by a zero so i know that this is the one which i have to mark at index one i'll go at the index one and i can simply mark it okay mark it as in like place it as zero or place it any number so that you know okay this is marked this is done already now take the smallest k values smallest k values and also mark them so again for for me smallest k values are in this in this array which i have sorted down so i'll go into smallest k values in this order remember the fact remember the fact one thing that this le this index one is index one is already marked so remember the fact this index one is already marked but yeah you know i know so i'll go on to this specific element again i know i have to mark two elements two elements two small elements so i I'm, i'll go on the in this order itself okay currently uh, let's say my j pointer is here firstly i have to mark this element but bro they have told you mark the unmarked element so have a quick check is the index zero already marked is the index zero already marked no bro it is not okay so mark it when i say mark it okay index zero is marked now now next next okay one element done one element done i have to do i have to mark two elements one element done i have to mark two elements okay do this for this next next index is three is it already marked no but it's not marked index three is not marked so simply mark it okay mark it okay simply move on oh my two limit is finished now great so what is the answer for this query answer for this query is all the remaining unmarked elements sum so i have to go on to and say two plus two plus three plus one six sorry three plus two five plus two seven plus one eight so answer is eight but Aryan, okay, this marking and stuff, okay, you firstly converted my array to a pair of value and index. Then you simply did a sort. So as to go on to all the unmarked, or basically to go on to all the small elements first. The sorting will take O of n log n time. That's completely fine. And that's a one time thing which you will do. Okay. Then you are going on to all the array. This marking of an element will take O of one time because you know the index is one. You have to just simply mark it. This iterating on the sorted list, you are actually iterating on in this order itself. So that will also take O of n time in total. Right. But Aryan, your ultimate aim was to find the sum of all the remaining elements which are not marked. So Aryan, will you go about and tell the sum of all the elements? Which means I'll have to iterate on all the remaining elements and then find the sum for it. Bro, I don't think so. Why? Because if for every m, because you know that you have m queries. If for every query you will go on and iterate on all the n elements again and again, again and again, then it will take O of m into n time. Which is not, which we cannot afford. O of m into n we cannot afford. It will become 1 e10. We cannot afford that. Um, sorry. So what we can do? We have to find a way that for every query, I should be knowing the answer in O of one time. So that, okay, for M queries, I will be taking O of M time. That's I can afford. M into I cannot afford. So what I can do is that, okay, um, I know that I was removing some elements. I was removing some elements. And then I want to find the sum of remaining elements. That's it, right? So why not? Why not? I can take the sum. By default, I can take my sum in the very beginning stages. Uh, what was the sum? It was 1 plus 2. It was 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1. In the very beginning, I took the sum of all the elements. Now, when I am iterating on the query, as I am marking some, okay, I marked an index, I marked index 1. Again, if it is not already marked, I marked an index 1. So, I can simply say, index 1 value was 2. So, simply subtract the 2 from my sum. Mark the remaining two ones, okay. I went on the remaining two ones and I will actually subtract the value from my sum itself. I'll subtract the value minus one. I'll subtract the value minus one. And thus you can simply see that I can keep track of this sum. And now the sum is eight. Okay, great. So, so far you saw that I just, as I'm marking my elements, I'm actually also reducing my sum, which is the remaining sum I'm getting. Now go on to the next query. Firstly, go on to the index three and mark it. Firstly, I'll go on to my index three. Index three is already marked. So there is nothing I can do for it. So for sure, for sure. The sum also will not reduce or if, even if you want to reduce, you can reduce it because you have always overridden to a value zero. If you had, if the, if the condition would have been that, okay, um, you would have placed to, to like to know if things are marked or not. Let's say you have placed some absurd value, which is one in nine or something like that. Then you have to add a if condition that if something is already visited, please don't mark it. 
if you don't mark it you will also not reduce the sum but right now in this case i have already overridden this value with the value of three so even if i reduce the value zero it will not reduce so it will not matter for us but yeah this was a not marked like one uh, or i can say index three was marked not marked will not matter for me now i come on to i have to mark the three unmarked i have to mark three unmarked elements so again at index six i can mark it uh, index six i can mark it yeah i can mark it okay as soon as i mark it reduce zero again reduce minus one then uh, move on move on index one mark it index one bro it is already marked simply okay simply move on move on again you still you still know i have to still mark two more i have only marked once i have remember this fact ki says that mark the unmarked elements so even if the index one was already marked still i have to still mark two elements so i'll still keep on trying it index two index two not marked okay mark it i'll subtract from my sum minus two now okay one remaining move your again move your keep on moving your j pointer index four index four not marked okay mark it minus two so you saw that i will remain with a sum of three and that you can also see remain sum is three so for this query the answer is three simple now ultimately for the last query mark the index four index four already marked no worries bro okay already already marked no sum reduction happening here now mark the two unmarked elements again i will go on sorry index four was already done or not even if not or not i can see four is already marked so i cannot do it i have to mark two elements still five index index five okay already marked became a zero i'll do a minus three then again one marking remaining but yeah index is done so that's the final answer for him which is zero so answer for him zero as you can see that if our if if and if less than ki unmarked elements exist then the mark all of them so if i don't have much unmarked elements remaining so just mark all of them and that's how you can simply solve it so just a quick recap we will firstly keep track of the elements and their indexes we will sort them it will take off n log n time then after sorting we will keep a track with let's say j pointer or any i pointer to go on and trade on all the elements that is mostly specifically used for my k of i this k of i and uh, to mark some elements in my nums array i will just replace that value with the nums which is zero although in an interview you can ask the interviewer sir can i please override it which means can i override the existing nums or you want me to make a new array of visited or marked and then you want me to modify that specific array you can ask the interviewer now um so what will happen you will simply go on to all the queries and for every query you are just iterating on the entire nums this entire nums like the entire sorted nums just once so it will be o of m plus n plus the pre-computation of n log n n log n time and that is the total time complexity for your algorithm let's see the code it's pretty simple firstly um i want to take the sum of all the elements in the very beginning and this is the set of pair uh just so as to sort things out so as to sort things out again you can take a simple vector also that's very much okay for you even if you want to take a vector see a set and a vector both will simply sort it i just want to iterate on the sorted array from the very beginning itself so both this can all actually also give me the beginning elements and the sorted like sorting the entire vector and then taking a pointer j will also help me solve it so i used a set of a pair if you remember in the question number three i used a multi set so as to give you the how many variations i can solve this problem now i will simply push all the elements and its indexes in my set and it will simply sort it and i will also add the sum of all the elements in my nums in my sum now i'll go into all the queries for the query if you remembered i have two main things which is first is id and second is ki first thing was that th that this id value should be marked and if i say i am marking something that specific sum should be reduced and if you remembered even if this id is let's say already marked previously also then also it will not impact my sum because i am marking my number with a value of zero so although if it is already marked also then okay still it will not impact us but remember if you would have taken any other marking scheme which means if if i would have taken any other marking like to mark a number if i would have taken a 1 in 9 then i would have to place a if condition for it that okay if the value of nums of i is 1 in 9 then please don't reduce the sum cool now okay one step is done other step was while your k of i is there which means you have to 
mark the unmarked elements k of i times you will simply keep on marking the unmarked elements k of i times how you will do it firstly you will grab the as as I, as i was showing you and you are going on the pointer so you will grab the minimum value element you will grab that element and that specific index you will check and firstly you don't need this element right now so you can simply erase it from the set so you simply erase it from the set now you check if that element is not marked again how to check it because we remembered our rums of i is positive so if it is positive which means if it is non zero it is not marked so this if condition says if it is not marked only if it is not marked firstly reduce our sum make it as marked and also you have consumed one unmarked element so reduce your k of i again remember this fact this k of i is inside this if condition because i will reduce my k of i only and only when i consume a unmarked element and thus by this fact i will have my sum reduced okay my sum will be the remaining sum left and i can simply push back that sum in my answer so that will be the answer which means that sum will be the answer for that specific query q and then ultimately i can simply return my answer and thus you can see my time will be o of n log n plus n plus m you can ultimately say it will be o of n log n plus m and space used will be o of n because of the multi set or maybe if you are if you would have used a new vector for your marked or maybe you have used a new vector for making your value index array still it will be o of n time and that's how you can simply solve it cool thank you for watching goodbye take care bye bye